Excellent. She is Chris Cyborg. Look at that shirt. Looks amazing. Chris, how are you? Hi. Great. Thank you, James. You know, I have to be here and share this amazing weekend. Yes. Uh, tons to talk about. Okay. Let's start first uh, with the fact that we had a big boxing fight on the weekend, Clarissa Shields. What did you think of her performance? She continues to, uh, you know, amaze everyone in the combat sports world. You know, Clarissa did a great, you know, she was really training really hard and she was very excited, you know, the rematch. So I believe she was one of the seven rounds, you know, the 10 rounds. And she was good, the defensive timing, you know, she's doing everything perfect. Ever the big important is the land punch too. I think she's is, she is now is the best female boxing fighter right now, I believe. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. And uh, someone who bounced back in a big way as well, Deontay Wilder. What a finish that was. I mean, this guy just, it's impossible for him not to produce a highlight. He always looks so great. What did you think of his uh, big, big uh, KO? Man, big right hand, you know, first round, an amazing fight. And his opponent's really heavy than him. You know, I think it's yeah. around, the, uh, it was 215, 30 pounds heavier than him. So it was, it, was, it was a really great fight. I'm very excited to see if it's going to happen in Deontay against Nagoya, you know? It's going to yeah, be great. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I mean, I think everyone wants yeah. to see that. So we'll see. We'll see if that's, uh, that ends up happening in the future. Yeah. Uh, we got a lot of MMA to talk about this week. Uh, before we get into UFC 280, Kat Zangano, I know you talk about her a lot. I read something somewhere that she said that she is guaranteed to fight you. What's the latest on the Kat Zangano fight potentially? You know, we've been talking a lot about this fight. You know, it was the fight being delayed because her is you know, really not because of me. But you know, I, I it was gonna be a great fight. All the fans know who Kat and Gunner is, and it's gonna be the big, big fight. And I'm excited. You know, and maybe this fight can be the first Bellator going to Brazil. You know, yes. let's see. It's gonna be yeah. exciting. You know, um, she's been talking a lot. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I think this fight can happen in Brazil. It's gonna be great. Do you, do you want this fight more now because of the fact that, you know, she has said a lot of things about drug testing, the fight hasn't taken place. Do you feel like this adds more now to a fight had it happened, you know, say earlier this year? Because it seems like there's more anticipation for the fight now because there's so much of a buildup. You know, I believe she's a great fighter. You know, I know she's using some points in the fight. I think she's trying to make this fight be personal. It's not personal. I'm going to do my job, do my best in the fight. And... You know, let us just talk. Let us just talk. When the fight happens, we're going to see. Uh, we got a big UFC card this Saturday in Abu Dhabi. We got to talk about the main event. I've seen people split on this fight down the middle. The main event is Charles Oliveira, Islam Mahasha, vacant lightweight title. I know you're Brazilian, but I still got to ask anyways, who are you, who you picking in the uh, in the main event? You know, I picked Charles Oliveira. I know he's, he's a shooter box. You know, same thing to me in Brazil. And this is a great guy, you know, he's a great, great example in Brazil, too, for all the young young kids, young fighters. So uh, he's a good strike, good grappling. He's a really show his work well with impression, impression, you know. And let's see, he's ever, you know, I believe he's going to try to finish uh, his opponent. And I'm very excited for this week. Let me ask you this as a, as a, as a champion. Uh, you know, Charles has, has won the title. He's been the champion. He's had losses, though, right? Like in the past. How much do you put into the fact that he's overcome adversity? You know, that's something Islam really hasn't had to experience. He's had one loss. It was quick. Do you think that'll play a role in the fight, just that Charles has seen a bit more than Islam has? You know, he, he, Charles Oliveira, his life is a, is a life story. is a yeah. lot of overcome. You know, yeah. I believe he is uh, having a lot of things uh, fight for fight. He's a lot of what he does. And he's really a lot of, he's have a lot of faith in his belief and his belief can move the mountain of his faith. You know, I believe this is going to be a strong part of him and he was training really hard. So I believe he's going to get the best for getting the victory. Yeah, you bring up a great point. If you haven't had a chance, go go do a little Google search. Yes. Look at the story of Charles Oliveira, where he came from to where he is now. It's incredible. And then you just think of all the things that happened in the UFC with him losing, people yes. writing him off as a prospect, and then he goes on to win the title. So really incredible story there for Oliveira. Um, we got to talk also about the Sean O'Malley and Piotr Jan fight. Uh, you know, when this fight was first announced, I saw a lot of people writing off O'Malley, but now I see people are actually betting O'Malley. The betting line is getting closer. Who do you who are you picking on Saturday? You know, um, Sean Mowley, I believe he's going to have a hard time to block the kicks. Mm -hmm. And his opponent is very good low kicks. Um, he's have, he's have great jiu-jitsu, but I believe that his opponent is going to try to be stand-up. No one going to go this game. So I believe Marley is going to lose by decision. You know, okay. I, I believe he's going to see, you know, I, I'm not sure. I, I believe, I believe. If you're well, going to keep stand-up, the guy is going to keep the distance. 
Yeah, and the interesting thing with that fight is it's only three rounds, so you know you'd have to think that maybe favors Sean a bit. But Jan is a is a champion; he's been there. Uh, big step up going from Pedro Munoz to Piotr Jan, but we'll we'll see on Saturday. Um, speaking of Brazil, you mentioned Brazil earlier. Anderson Silva, what was with that photo with you and him? Uh, he's obviously fighting in a few weeks. You know, we have a bo both have one similar friends. You know, Ana Guedes, and and she's my friend, and she's a great, great the best lawyer. So we're working together, and she said, Chris. I cannot believe you never meet Anderson Silva, like talk a lot with him, talk with him. You've never met him no, before? Like, I didn't know that. I, 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 I just say hi, but yeah. we never talk. And at this time we met each other, I see a little bit of his training, we go lunch. And you have a great, a similar story in the MMA story. Our story is a little bit yeah. similar. And he's from Curitiba, same city of me, starting shoot the box, the same academy I started. But when I started, he's already left. So it was a great opportunity to meet each other and he's invited me to go do training for him. It was amazing, you know. I'm very excited to see what is the next of this friendship. But I'm very happy, you know, I trained with Doria. You know, he's a great great Brazilian coach, boxing, and they teach a lot of guys, you know, in the MMA world too. But he's have a lot of great athletes in the boxing. And he's very excited, very happy. That's so cool. I'm surprised you guys haven't haven't uh, talked over the years because, like, you think of all the similarities. You guys were both dominant in your weight classes, yes. both Brazilian, and both have taken boxing fights, right? So there, there's a lot yeah. in common there. So so there we go. That's great. Um, so yeah, by the sounds of it, are are you going to go to Arizona to watch that fight? Uh, obviously, with him and uh, Jake Paul. Yes, I'm going to watch the fight, and now it's nice because uh, I, before I just hear about him, this legend in Brazil. You know, I believe it's going to be a great fight. I know Jake have a lot of powers, have big punches, you know, but Anderson Silva have a lot of experience. Uh, I think this is going to be the advantage for him. I think it's going to be hard to Jake touch him. Let's see. I'm very excited for this fight. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it too. That, by the way, I shouldn't say a few weeks. That is actually next Saturday. We're coming yes. up uh, really close here. Yes. So uh, there we go. Uh, back to Bellator. It looks like they're going to Italy. Uh, we're hearing that, uh, you know, Fabian Edwards, who's actually the brother of UFC uh, welterweight champion Leon Edwards, is going to be taking on Charlie Ward. Uh, sorry. And uh, yeah, so it's a main event in Italy. Um, who do you think wins that fight? Because that's actually a pretty big matchup for Bellator. You know, it's, uh, Fabian is very, he's fought against Lioto. He lost my friend. He's, you know, lost. But, you know, I think it's, it's going to be an exciting fight. Um, I, I believe the, the other guy have more twos because, you know, mm -hmm. it come from my tie. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I, I believe it's a great fight. You know, I think the my ties have more twos, you know, and the Ireland guy is a very good boxer. So let's see. Yeah, we'll see what... against Muay Thai. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be a good fight, though. We're looking forward to it. Okay, before we get out of here, got to do our Portuguese saying of the week. I don't know how it is in California, but here in Vancouver, it's getting a little bit colder. So I got to ask, where are my gloves? Uh, how would I say that in Portuguese? Aonde? Aonde? Está? Está? Mias? Mias? Luvas. Mias Luvas. Okay, so aonde? Está? Está? Mias? Aonde? Luvas. Lu Luvis, sorry, that was the first part. There we go. Luvis, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, nice. that's important because if I'm outside, I don't want my hands to get cold. You know, that's how you get sick. Uh, no no yes. one wants that to happen. Uh, before we get out of here, like we always do, Chris, you got so much going on. ChrisCyborg.com, you can sign up with Bitcoin. That's where you can get access to, obviously, the training videos. You get the Q&As every single month. We've got um, also your OnlyFans. We've got so many other things going on. Uh, Chris, tell, tell us what's uh, coming up on the uh, you know online side of things. So we have it, the OnlyFans. You guys can sign up. It's free. You know, it's uh, very exciting to have new uh, new videos, new stuff that we're doing. It's just only that. Something is going to find just that. And you guys can sign it too to my premium service. We're going to have a live one time, one time a month. The next one is going to be this Sunday, 2 p.m., you know, Pacific time. And you're going to have some techniques every Thursday too. And you guys can be with me and know about me, make your questions, everything. So it's, it's nice to be keep the contact with the fans. You know, then they will support us when you're fighting and it's nice to give the love back. And that's it. Thank you, James. It's an amazing week. I'm very excited for the next fights coming up. And yeah. have a nice week. Yeah, we are uh, just before we get out of here one last time, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. This is the catch up. We do yes. it every single week. Uh, enjoy the fights this weekend, everyone. It's going to be amazing. We will see you next week. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.